challenges are a fact of life <laughs> challenges are a way of life but uh, if we don't do it then who will and if we don't do it now then when will we do it Sports was always a priority in the sense it was always there and has always been there. Skating has always been there for me. Uh, to studying science and pursuing engineering was all for my mother. But then eventually, it was uh, what happened was being a bad engineer and being a good athlete. You know what could I have chosen? Being a bad engineer was something I was not very enthusiastic about. But going being a good athlete was something which always uh, fascinated me. So that's what I decided. That yeah, bore engineer se achha to achha athlete hu. So wohi make science karta hai zada. So financial challenges, of course. I mean, you know, being an athlete, financial challenges are always there. Uh, winter sports, particularly in, in, in specifically, is not a cheap sport. It is an expensive, pricey sport. So there was no finances. Basically, the the deal was that. I had to figure out everything on my own, and that's what we did. So yeah, doing odd jobs, figuring out how to budget everything, figuring out how to approach sponsors, figuring out how to convince the administrative bodies, and those things had to be done. So they had to be done. So I also again over there, I could have been disheartened and you know discouraged and just sat down on the corner and cried about it. But my, I, my again, I had to remind myself positive positiveness, positive prerogative, and try and figure out and answer answers to questions and figure out the answers. Those those questions will lead to another question, but then at least you have got answers, which will lead to a proper uh, solution and a situation. So by now, around 111 companies have rejected my sponsorship proposal. But so what? You know, 112 might be the one, and not giving up is something what a sport teaches you, so especially this sport. It teaches you not to give up. If you give up on the sport, it gives up on you. If you don't give up on the sport, it won't give up on you. That is my hope and that is my faith. I come from Ahmedabad, where the temperature reaches 50 degrees in the summer, and we have one word for ice and snow: barf. So it is kind of fundamentally, it was all like redefining, understanding, reinventing yourself every day, every minute. We don't have infrastructure. क्या करेंगे? We don't have the funding for it. क्या करेंगे? You know, so there was like every time there was another challenge in front of me. So yeah, the choice was obvious. Let's move to Europe, train in minus ten, and keep doing what we do and represent India. The dream was to represent India at the Winter Olympics, and that keeps going. So I, I took up a job where we would deliver newspapers in the cold. Doesn't matter. From night to ten, from morning to five, from the you had to go through the snow, through the rain, through the cold. Just to deliver newspapers at 50 different buildings in, in in Denmark, so I just did that to get used to the cold. And uh, eventually, after the first winter season, everything was fine. And now we went to Leh Ladakh and skated in minus 25. So that was that was how it began. There is a uh, hope and faith. Uh, there is a hope in the mountain states where there are facilities for skiing, for example. You know, so there things can be done, but. on the whole we have a long way to go but if proper uh, resources are allocated things can be done for sure we have enough talent and we have enough we enough uh, funding also for that no problem our sports has been a way of life so far so it means everything it has given me everything so i cannot imagine my life without it challenges are a fact of life <laughs> challenges are a way of life but uh, if we don't do it then who will and if we don't do it now then when will we do it